Jeremy Prophet here for The Hannibal TV. The Black Russian Black Dynamite Prophet. He's been calling me that for years. The Barnyard Barnoff. Calls me all these things. This is the Green Phantom. You guys probably already know who he is. Most of you do. You better know who, who I am uh, if, if you know who this Joker is. So, it's funny to see you in front of the camera this way and not like uh, head to head of the ring, brother. What's going on with you these days? Well, you see, I am going to be in the ring, but I'm also going to be giving opportunities to guys like you. Multitasking are, this guy. Multi-talented. Oh my God. Giving these opportunities to guys like yourself to talk to the hundreds and thousands of fans watching Hannibal TV to let them know who you are if they don't already know. But I think most of them should know because you have had some international experience. I've been around this ring of ours. The squared circle is uh, my home for 20 years, brother. Scars, broken bones, battles, even with punks like you, you know, it, and, and here in Hawkesbury as well. We're in Hawkesbury today, right? We are in Hawkesbury, yeah. yeah. The Great North Wrestling Experience has been pretty good getting with the green so far, I have to say. Yeah. Now, now, you've been doing this for the better part of how many years? 20 years. Two decades, brother. Yeah, and you know, you, you look the same as when I first I met know, you. You have an age today. I have this young, fresh face on all the time. I'm, I'm ageless, brother. I'm an Im immortal enigma, if mm. you will. It's very well said. So, I mean, maybe you could tell us about your humble beginnings, you know, when you started off in the ancient Green Hills. Back you know? in the ancient Green Hills 20 years ago, I was just a young, upstart little piece of green, you know, uh, wanted to get in the business. I believe uh, we encountered each other way back when, maybe 15 years ago, the first time. Back in about 2004. 2004, like yeah. yeah. A, little, a, a young little prophet breaking a chair in my head, and I made him eat it, you know. And look, you're all grown up now, brother. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's nice to see you. And you, and you he's he's you, pretty good looking. I mean, you don't look as good as me, but... Uh, well, then again, who does? Who, nobody, brother. So, I mean, those were your humble beginnings. You know, you started off in Montreal, uh, wrestled in, amongst other things, a lot of death matches, hardcore matches. That kind of became your calling card. Yeah, so, bleeding, bashing, and bruising, brother. Yeah, I we, mean... If people have seen some of your videos online. You had a legendary battle in a Tournament of Death with the Necro Butcher, yeah. uh, you, you've thrown people off of balconies. You actually went off a few balconies yourself Myself, as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're, you're pretty much invincible, but you have had a few setbacks over the years. There have been some injuries. Uh, yeah, you know, I've pretty much broken any, every, every part of my body that's, that you can break, you know, from the nose to the knees to the ribs to the head, uh, you know, elbows. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really a, a walking piece of meat that's been battered and bruised. Yeah, you're kind of like the wrestling equivalent to like a crash test dummy. You get kinda, taken kinda. apart and they put you back together. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been broken and bashed a bunch of times, but, you know, I'm, I'm still walking. So or, let's, at least, or at least sitting. Yeah, you know? So let's, I mean, you give up a bit of a hunch to you, but that's kind of been yeah, something throughout the years. That's how it goes. L let, Let's talk about the elephant in the room. You know, 20 years in the business, that's a lot of wear and tear on someone's body. How much more gas you got left in the tank? As long as I can keep walking, brother. As long as I can keep stomping and romping and hanging and banging, I'm going to keep doing it, brother. Uh, I, I mean, I, I might be a little bit slower, but I mean, I was jumping off the top rope last weekend, so I don't see it, uh, it changing anytime soon. Now, we talked about some of your bigger battles and whatnot. You faced some legends in your career, too. Uh, yeah, like the, like the prophet Jeremy Barnoff, the oh. barnyard Barnoff. Oh. Uh, there, that, that is quite I mean, a legend. That, that was pretty legendary. But I mean, I'm talking more like some of the people you shared rings with, like uh, like Sabu. Mm. You know, that was an epic battle. That was an epic you battle. That. Uh, many other legends that you've had the opportunity to face over, over your career. Who would you say would be your toughest challenge in ring? My toughest challenge? You mean like physically or emotionally it, or just overall? It, it, I was more referring to an opponent. An opponent. Mm. Who gave you your hardest fight, let's say? My hardest fight. Well, I have to say it was probably Necro Butcher. I mean, he did break my nose, you know, so that kind of sucks. And that is a legendary battle. I mean, if you folks get the chance to check that out, we don't have it on Hannibal TV. Maybe we will get it at one point, but uh, that was a hell of a fight. Yeah. And I know that uh, not only did you take a few shots with your nose getting broken, but you gave a few shots, too. You gave him a hell of a fight, and I'm sure no he'd doubt. say the same thing. Oh, no doubt. I, 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 even though he came out victorious, uh, I definitely left my mark on, on his body and in the minds of the fans, that's for sure. I mean, but I mean, he, he definitely took me to the limit. Uh, other guys, you know, guys like Sexy Eddie, the Sex Express, Triple X, Sexy Eddie, everyone's sexual fantasy, Sexy Eddie. Uh, I, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him a bunch of times. We shared some blood. Uh, PCP Crazy Manny, same thing. Uh, a lot of, like, fans bring the weapons matches. So a lot of carnage, a lot of glass, a lot of blood. You know, these and what a lot of people don't realize about you, because you're so synonymous with these hardcore matches, these bloodbaths, is that you actually do have some wrestling ability to you. I'm versatile, baby. And, and so much so that you even had some tryouts with the WWE. I did. I went down to uh, Kentucky a while ago with the OVW. Um, you know, it didn't work out so well for me. It wasn't really their style. I, at the time, it was... Um, 
it was the uh, what we call the steroid era, if you will. And I really wasn't uh, as big as I am now. And back then, it just, it, it just didn't uh, cut the mustard. Uh, I, I made enough of an impression that uh, I was scheduled to uh, to do something for the for the uh, upcoming uh, Raw show that was in Montreal. Uh, but then I broke my elbow. And I just kind of faded away from that uh, side of thing. I actually thought I might retire at that point. And this was what year again? Ah, uh, shit. I'd be 15 years ago, 14 years ago. Okay. Some shit like that. So you realized maybe WWE wasn't the avenue for you? and It really wasn't the avenue for me. You know, I'm really not their style of thing. Uh, but that's cool. I, I still enjoy it. I, I have some, some buddies who are, who are there, you know, like uh, Kevin and Rami, you know. Uh, and now 3.0 just got, uh, just yeah, got did, signed yeah. to NXT, so yeah, that's, that's pretty them. cool. Yeah, definitely. You know? So what I always say to anyone that comes on this show is that this camera's rolling, hundreds of thousands of people are watching you, including wrestlers, promoters. You know, what do you have to say to them why they should maybe consider booking the Green Phantom? Uh, well, the main reason is because I pop the crowd. When people come to see Green Phantom, they feel my intensity the moment I come through that curtain. And no matter what happens in the ring, people are like, oh, that guy had some energy. That guy did something good. So I, I know how to do my job really well. That's, that's the main reason, you know. I do sell tickets. I look the part. Yeah, brother. See, if I, I had to, if I get with the green baby, if I had to sum you up in a, in a nutshell, I'd say that not only do you get, you know, the, the the stuntman hardcore qualities, but you get a lot of entertainment to go along with it. You can see he's a very uh, excitable guy here, and um, you know, I've done battle with you in the ring, and I can say that you're pretty legit once the bell rings. Mm. So the other thing I want to say is, you know, we talked about you being towards the tail end of your career here. Who what said tail end of my career? I said I'm I'm just getting started, brother. Don't don't you force me to an early grave. Oh. <laughs> all, all, all things, all things considered, you know, where would you see the Green Phantom ideally? Is it is your dream to go overseas? Is is it to be on TV? I've already been overseas. I, I, I can always go more overseas. Did you know I I, I beat up on Sheamus in I, Ireland? In Ireland, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that was a while ago. I, I I would definitely like to go back overseas. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm just ready to work. I'll work anywhere uh, as long as you pay me, as long as there's a crowd that I can sell my merch to and entertain. Uh, I'm there, baby. And, and he's very subtle about these things, very too. That's all, always to love. You'll, you'll always know how, how I'm feeling. Just look, just, just by the look on my face, brother. Well, I shoot from the hip. Well, with that said, I appreciate you taking the time to do all this. Do you have anything else you want to say to our fans out there before we sign off? Uh, as per usual, uh, your hardcore hero is signing out from Jeremy the Barnyard Prophet. Get with the green, baby. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.